What is up, you little pirates, folk? Folk. I'm a fucking idiot. Ah, right, fuck the intro. Hey, just wanted to. S I just saw the. Well, I managed to see the last of the Resident Evil movies, and uh, just wanted to talk about it because I'm wondering, why the fuck does everyone hate it? I mean, yes, it does not follow the entire storyline of the games whatsoever, and I'm fine with that. The first and the last movies were the best ones in the ratings, as far as I know. Sorry, getting stuff out of my hair. Got tangles a little bit. But, the games, I don't care if they don't follow the story of the movie. And I don't care if the movies follow the story of the game. They're good action movies. I mean, we may have bad ones, like the Mario Brothers movies. That was kind of terrible. I mean, we're now, I think we're getting a World of Warcraft movie. I don't know. I'll check after this video. But, there's one problem I just want to clear up with anyone who hates the Resident Evil movies for being, quote-unquote, not good. Did not know why I said quote-unquote. That's a fucking stupid thing. Anyway, why does everyone hate the movies? I mean, yes. Like, the reason the people hate Resident Evil 5 and 6... They're too action-packed. It's not scary. Like anything below 5. 4 all the way up to 1 were the scariest games out there. And a close competitor was Silent Hill. And their games are still scary besides the Pachinko machine. Seriously? Pachinko? Why? But anyway, Silent Hill, they've had a good movie and a not so really good movie. Eh. People hate, Res People hate Silent Hill Revelations, but I'll save that for another video about me talking about those two. But anyway, you all know the, you know, the fucking thing about it. it. Just follows a girl named Alice who turned out to be a clone of someone. And she goes around battling Umbrella and zombies and mutants and all the other jazz you'd find in a Resident Evil convention. Point is, so what? It may have some of the original characters. It's got Chris, Claire, I think Jill. I think I saw her in the end of one of the things. It's even got Wesker, and it's got Ada, and Leon as well. So it's got six of the major characters in the entire series. And yet, they're not the main characters. They're just side characters. Claire was only in for two movies. Chris was only in one, especially Ada and Leon. They were only all in for one. A Claire and Wesker, they were the only ones in for multiple movies. And I find that okay. The movies may be kind of bad. I mean, especially number three, because it finds out that we that Alice has powers. Fucking boom powers. Yeah, I did not think that would be a thing. I understand that, you know, the mutants, they would have some kind of powers. Like, you know, super strength, super speed, and uh, the ability to fly if they had wings. But... A clone should not have that unless they had a serum like Wesker. That's the only problem I have with the movie. I mean, yes, powers are fucking amazing, especially when you can blow shit up. And it only lasted for th for one movie and an intro for the fourth one. And we never hear those powers again. And I bet people were dying at the end of Resident Evil series movies. When we found out that if the T-Virus, you know, antidote is released into the air, Alice would die. People are probably saying, oh, fuck yes, the bitch is finally gonna die. Uh, no more terrible movies. I was actually kind of sad. I enjoyed these movies. I grew up with them. From the first one in, I think, 2000, yeah, 2002, all the way up to the 2017, I've watched every movie. And... I'm actually kind of sad that they didn't add any of the monsters. We have the evolved liquor, the giant liquor. We have the Isaac monster. Let's see. We have the rage zombies. I think the closest thing we got to the rage zombies was bloodshots, but uh, I think I always called the bloodshots muscle men because they don't look bloodshot. Bloodshot is something to do with the eyes. They have none. They look like evolved regenerators, minus the regenerating part. I mean, then we also have, like, uh, I'm trying to think, one more monster. Um, 
Oh yeah, the flying monsters. They look very similar to the Papakarimu, the weird earwig bat in Resident Evil 5 from the last movie. It's... I'm really sad. I mean, a lot of the monsters in Silent Hill, both movies, they should have been added into Silent Hill. The mannequin monster would have been a really great boss. But I'm getting off topic. Point is, the movies are great. I really don't know why everyone hates them. I mean, just because a game is going away from its roots doesn't mean that the movies have to be bad or good. I really don't know what's going on with the lights, because I can see that. I mean, since Resident Evil 1, all the way up to 4 and 5, because it was still a very, very good game, people have been saying, this game, it's not going anywhere. It's just turning from horror to fucking action-packed survival horror. Basically like Call of Duty. It's not scary. It's just awesome, yes, but it's missing that touch of scariness. The only thing scary in Resident Evil 6 was maybe Ustinak. Simmons was fucking terrifying. This giant amalgamation of so much body parts. It turned into a, a mass amount of insects. And the... Let's see, Ubistvo is creepy. The Rasclapongis were scary as whole hell. Since they were the closest thing we've ever gotten to a regenerator since number four. But yeah, this is just me talking about, I guess, now all of Resident Evil, apparently. I mean, we've only had six of the main characters come back. We've never seen a game based off of the movies, which that should be a thing. Just a standalone title. Resident Evil, the movie series or something. I don't know, like... I don't know, just name it out. Like, we've only had, like, two other Resident Evil movies, and they were animated. I admit the first animated movie was terrible, but Damnation, holy shit. That looks like something out of fucking Final Fantasy. Anyway, sorry for boring you guys with this video. I really wanted to get this out. And I'm... I just saw it last week, and this week I just saw The Great Wall. Very good movie. You should all check it out. But the one thing I'll do, and another movie review that I'm going to do, which I'm not going to do for a whole series, it's only when I want to talk about it, is on May 7th, expect a new video about a review. Because I'm going to be talking about the new Aliens movie. And if I want to, during June, I will talk about Captain Underpants. Yes, that is being made into a movie. Great book, funny things. Turned into a movie about a man in his underpants. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, it's just... Hold on. If you guys are excited about both movies, um, well, this is, I'm going to have a little challenge. If you guys want to, comment below on which movie you would want to see first. Like, like in summer, vac May, June... So in, in July, when both movies are out, or which one you just want to wait first to see, Comment down below which one you want to see first. The new Aliens movie or the Captain Underpants movie. Which I am both ready to see. I'm watching them both. Anyway, comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And prepare for more retardation. Because that's all this channel is going to. Oh yeah, and another thing. Next video is going to be a little more different. I don't know, I might just go play some Obscure on my computer, record a few episodes. I don't know. Anyways, peace out, people of Pirate's Cove. Stay foxy.